What's up everybody? In this video, we are opening up the May Mystery Tackle Box. First thing I'm pulling out is some Harmony. It looks like uh, offset hooks. You get three. Um, I don't know, I'd say three off. It does not set. But they are some nice Texas rig, you know, beaver style. I will use these for Texas rig. This is great, you know, it's a plus. One thing I do want is underspins. Underspins can be expensive and I have none. So if I get this, if I get underspins, um, I will rate the box 10 out of 10. Next is a medium diving crankbait. It's a Strike Pro tournament grade, zero to 0 0.3 feet. The lip on this is a lot bigger than I would think to go 0 to 0 0.3 feet. Um, but that's what it says. It's 13 16th ounce. That's a crazy um, number. But it is a shad. Um, it's a shad square build. I don't know if I'll use them. I'm not a big crank guy anyways, but it's cool to have. Next are some Talons swim baits. Um, soft swim baits, 3.8 inches. I will pull one out. Um, you know, there'll be a big roll of it, but I want to check it out. Oh, it's like a centipede swim bait. It's got the texture on the sides. Um, it's really small. I don't know if I would use this. Definitely different. I'll try it out. I've never used something like this. This is cool. You always get something cool and neat that you don't really tend to use. Um, we got two more baits. One is the... This is a um, 10,000 fish company cycle bait, um, which is a spinner bait. It's a nice purple and yellow. It's a 3 8 ounce. I would use this. The only thing that's funky about this is it's got like swivels attached to the main um, blade. We'll find out what that's worth in a little bit. The last bait is some, um, these are some fish hoy lures. And it says I'd hit that. Um, they are, it's a maybe like a six inch trick worm. It's got just like the tail just going thinner. So I guess you could work this like a trick worm. You could also cut this up and use it as a drop shot. But you could do a lot with this. I like the color. I like the color a lot. It's like a dark brown with some really small blue and white and tiny little red flakes. The red really. Um, blend in. This is a really good color. This will definitely work for me. And you get four of them. So that's that last one. Um, we got a fishing tip booklet. A card talking about the spinnerbait. So that's assuming that's the big ticket item, the spinnerbait. I didn't get my underspin, unfortunately. You get a sticker. Which one is it? Oh, it's a tree pounder, Tepco tree pounder. Nice sticker. I like it. I put stickers on stuff. And then uh, I got the card. So the box was twenty dollars, and everything I got worth twenty eight fifty. So you made eight fifty. But that's not the reason people should be buying this stuff. Not to make a profit. It should be just to have fun. Everyone's going out to Walmart, Bass Pro, Dick's Academy, and they're going to get what they usually get, you know, some trick worms, a couple hooks, and nettery, whatever you usually go to get with the Mystery Tackle Box, you'll get something, and you get a few things that you've never seen before. If you got the money, do it. It's, a, it's you know, it's like a side game. So, the crankbait was worth, is actually the big ticket item, and it's $10.50. That is insane. I might actually sell this because that's 10 bucks. That's half the price of this. The next bigger item is the spinnerbait, which I thought was gonna be more expensive, but it's $8.50. I do wanna take it out of the package real quick and just examine it. See, was, I, the only thing I don't like about fishing the industry is packaging is a little overkill with the uh, hard baits or uh, anything like this, or anything that's not soft plastic because it's too much. So yeah, these don't swivel, so that's going to give it a, a unique action, and it's probably going to make more noise. Yeah, that's the noise maker. So this I thought was going to be weird, but in reality, it makes the noise that you want. The color is 
a little be a little darker than I want, but you know, you can always change the skirt out. I have some skirts I'm gonna throw on there. Um, I'll give it a whirl, you know. I'm not a big spinnerbait guy, never have been. But um, I just I want I want to get better at everything I don't use. So this is also a good way to get Mr. Tackle Box stuff. Another reason if you don't have confidence in certain baits, Mr. Tackle Box will kind of force you to try them out. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do this every month. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Turn it gray. You can always change your mind. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day.